All right, Craig, what's our HubSpot marketing feature of the week? Well, speaking of all the data that HubSpot captures and puts on your activity timeline, uh, and again, a screenshot here just from our portal of all the different activities that are captured, uh, people may not know that at the top of the timeline, you can actually filter that down. And so this is great for reducing it down to just what you need to see. Often we'll turn off things like workflows, list memberships, etc. cetera. Uh, but here's the other thing. We actually had a client where they had unticked form submissions. Someone had done that. And so their activity timeline didn't show any form submissions. They didn't really know about this filter activity. And so they were actually saying they didn't think forms were working on their website. And so they were actually talking to IT, what's with the forms? We're not, you know, it's not working. All it was was this filter activity. They ticked that back on and it appeared in their timeline. Now you might think, oh, if you're listening to this and you think, yeah, I knew about that years ago, great. But this is what I have to keep reminding myself. Often we'll talk to people and it's these simple things that they just aren't aware of. HubSpot's a massively overwhelming product if you're new to it. And just some of these little tips are just life-saving. Turned this on, she saw it, she thought it was fantastic, made a day. Uh, perhaps that's uh, you as well. So quick reminder there.